Hey guys, so today I want to take a look at a pretty amazing looking concept here that a guy is calling Sony Xperia Z3. I'm gonna call it Sony Xperia Z2 concept because the Sony Xperia Z1 is coming out now, now on the market. So why would you call this concept the Sony Xperia Z3? Yeah, maybe if it was a super big phone and it is kind of in this concept, but it sounds pretty insane to call it Z3 when Z2 isn't even out. And we have heard rumors that Z2 could uh, already be unveiled at the Mobile World Congress maybe or early in 2014. So these are some pretty cool stuff uh, with this phone. This phone looks sexy as hell. And the Sony Xperia Z1 is doesn't have this kind of edge to, cool edge to edge display that this kind of concept has. Uh, so this concept is pretty cool uh, because it has ultra thin bezels and then it seems like it has slimmed down the top and the bottom area of the phone so it, does, that it doesn't take up too much space. Then also it seems that it has adopted kind of the iPhone or, or the Galaxy S4 design there on the sides uh, with very very straight sides and curved on the up and the, the down side. Uh, so uh, pretty fun here, he made some fun looking specs here that I'm gonna go over, uh, use some speculations and it's, it's fun to speculate how phones are gonna look uh, in the future. So he's speculating here, I mean just for fun, a 6 inch TFT IPS display, so 6, six inch that will be bigger than the Galaxy Note 3 is gonna come out on the market right now. Uh, resolution of 3840 times 2160, uh, almost like 4K resolution I think. Uh, an Intel Atom 3 gigahertz quad core processor, so like Intel AMD processors, it's kind of like getting like a real computer. Uh, it's pretty insane. Four gigabytes of RAM, like computers have, uh, and then 128 gigabytes of storage internal. You might think that sounds insane, but that's actually not insane because phones are actually now going up in size uh, over there. Uh, 20, 20 megapixel camera, uh, not super weird either because there's many cameras coming out now on phones that has that. Uh, with 4K video resolution, same as the Galaxy Note 3, so you can record insanely high resolution with insanely a lot of details. I, I on my MacBook Pro, I can't even play a lot of 4K video. An 18 megapixel front facing camera, which would be nice because we are, we are not getting kind of like that awesomeness at the moment in, in cameras. 6000 milliamp battery, which would just crush uh, with the six inch display and 6000 milliamps. I think that definitely is possible with a thin design in the future. Android 4.4 KitKat, I would say over here, even though he's saying Android 6, I mean, more people would probably, if they would be the C2, more closer to Android 4.4 KitKat, which would be the new version of Android. Uh, speakers here look so badass at the bottom and on the top side. Uh, which I think almost must be the best place to put the speakers as the iPhone has. The iPhone has the speakers all on the bottom and I think that must be one of the best places. Uh, but one of these things is that it, this, this Sony phone has a lot of uh, place uh, on the bottom on the front side of the phone and also on the top where they probably would be able to put the speaker. Uh, so that would probably be a better place but it looks so sexy when it's on the sides here with this like metallic body probably. Uh, which I would also say, I don't think glass back is the best material, even though it looks a little bit sexy, but it kind of makes your phone, uh, uh, the Nexus 4, the iPhone 4, the 4S, all of them had the same problem, kind of almost, uh, that the phone is moving around on the surface, and that's a little bit annoying, you know, so um, that kind of sucks. Uh, but the nice slim bezels here, I mean, look super awesome. Let's go in a little bit closer here. Would you like something like this? You can see it has a dock here. The same kind of button there on the side to power the, the device on. Some kind of port here to insert maybe SIM card or uh, something. Uh, then also seems like a port here for the sound uh, on the side, uh, which is an interesting place to have that. I'm not really sure if that's the best place when you have your phone in your pocket, but then this is a super big phone. So who knows, who knows? Do you like this concept? I think it's awesome, I think it's amazing. Uh, because the phone is just so thin and I can't wait to see more awesome thin devices coming out now on the market in the future. So, um, you like it? Do you want it? Yeah, peace out.